success differently. Here's what we always talk about. How many showed up? I mean, we gauge success in Christianity in America by how many people came. If a lot of people showed up, success. What if we started asking a different question after our gathering? Did God show up? What happened at your church Sunday that can only be described by God showed up? What's interesting, that's the pattern of the New Testament church. It's the exception in the North American church. We can do church for weeks and weeks and months and months whether God ever shows up or not. We got our set, our program, our live. We got it all together. One of the things that has changed in our hearts at Hope is we have, in Las Vegas, we, we've started hungering for the presence of God when we gather. We've started evaluating things on the question, what happened this weekend? That can only be explained that God just showed up. This past Sunday at our church, I preached and we worshiped together and we celebrated communion together. And the way we do communion, it hopes a little bit different. We have people, uh, we kind of do worship chaos. We have communion stations set up all around the building. We open the altars up. We have pastors down front praying with people and we preach God's word. And then we just let people respond. We have worship going on at the same time. And man, it's just, it's an awesome time to just let the Spirit of God move in our service. And man, we had so many people were in the altars praying. We had people praying with our pastors. And I had one mom come to me and and she was just weeping by the time she got to the front. And she threw her arms up on my chest and she just started hitting my shoulders like this. And she's pray, she's saying, Pastor, I need you to pray. I have a daughter who's strung out on drugs, and I've done everything I know to do. I'm at the end of myself. She's got a little baby. Things are terrible. I don't know what to do. And here I am standing there thinking, I don't know what to do either. And in my heart, I prayed, and I said, God, where's Eva Curry? Eva's a lady in our church that's a mom. She's had a teenage son that's gone through a similar crisis. And even her husband, Nico, walked with God, and they've been so strong. They've been such an example of faith to everybody in our church with the way they walked through this. And this woman just beating on my chest and in my heart. I'm praying for this lady, but inside I'm saying, God, where's Eva? And I said, amen. And I looked up, and Eva was standing right beside this lady with her arm around her. Only God, out of a thousand people, Eva's standing right there with her arm already around this lady. Only God can do that kind of stuff. What happened this week where you can say, man, God showed up? Listen to what Jim Cimbala said. I sometimes wonder if the early Christians were around today, would they even recognize what we call Christianity? Our version is blander, almost totally intellectual in nature, and devoid of the Holy Spirit power the early church regularly experienced. Everything we read about the church in the New Testament centered on the power of the Holy Spirit working in their hearts of Christian believers. Sadly for many of us, this has not been our experience. I believe it's time to return to the kind of faith we see in the New Testament church. They believed in Christ's Word. They expected the Spirit to do great things, and He came through as promised. They, uh, He will do the same for us today. We need 4,000 people to leave this place with the hand of God on them so that the Spirit of God can move through us to accomplish His mission. You say, well, how do we see that happen? I don't have time to go into all of it in my breakout session. I'm going to talk more about it, but but here's a one-sentence summary. God moves in response to the desperate cry of His people. God moves in response to the desperate cry of His people. 
You know, one of the reasons we don't see God move like they saw in the New Testament today, because we don't seek God like they sought God in the New Testament today. Let me tell you what I've learned. When we seek God, when we seek the presence of God, God moves in power. They were empowered by the Spirit. Here's the fourth thing they had, and I'm done. They motivated others with their lives. There's your M. The Bible says in verse 22, the news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem. That word, reached the ears, it's a phrase that means it, 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 they, they heard about it. And, and then Barnabas said in verse 23 that he witnessed what was going on there. It's a word that means to see and converse with. Here's the bottom line. What was happening in this movement in Antioch by these unnamed nobody heroes was so real you could experience it. Barnabas experienced it. So here's what Barnabas did. Barnabas went and found Saul. You know where Saul was? Saul was back in Tarsus. Saul had gone home. Saul was discouraged because the church in Jerusalem said, he can't be one of ours. He persecuted the church. So Paul gave up. But Barnabas didn't give up on Saul. He went and got him, brought him back to Antioch, said, you got to be around these people. He brought him around these unnamed heroes for two years, and that moment changed the life of Saul. He became Paul, and the missionary movement that led to this moment began. But it began with unnamed heroes. You and I, we can't be Paul. We can't be Barnabas. We can't be Peter. We can't be John. But we can be them. Look at it. Them. They took God's mission personally. You can take it personally. Right where life's taking you. They had gospel conversations. They were intentional. They were empowered by the Spirit. The hand of the Lord was on them. And they motivated others by their lives. You can take God's mission personally. You can have gospel conversations. You can be empowered by the Spirit. You can motivate others by your life. You know what that means? You can get in on God's glorious mission. Let's be them. Let's pray. Father, in the stillness of this moment, God, may your Holy Spirit move in this place. With nobody looking around right now, I want to do something. If you're here right now and you're ready to say, I want to be one of them, would you just stand up? Just stand up. I want to be one of them. Just stand up all over the room. Just stand up. Don't, don't do this like manipulation. If you don't feel led, don't do it. I want to be one of them. The movement started with 120. There's a whole lot more than that in this room. Standing up right now. Holy Spirit of God, would you fall fresh on us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.